Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I thought I'd do a little bit of experimenting. So when it comes to clothes washing, there is loads of different ways online. I've already shared two different videos on this channel of ways to wash your clothes. But in relation to something like soap nuts, they don't come from Ireland. So I've been hearing loads about using ivy to wash your clothes. Now this is the common ivy plant, also called English ivy. Not to be mistaken with poison ivy. And it actually was used back in the day by different cultures around the world for washing clothes. And it's the dark green part of the leaf. And I thought it was a great opportunity because it's obviously much better getting something from your own backyard than having to get something from abroad. So this is the first time I'm using it. And I thought I'd bring you along and see how we get on. So the English ivy contains a chemical called saponins and this is supposed to work as a mild detergent. So there's other plants like horse chestnut is also supposed to work. And it is supposed to be able to just clean off dirt and grime. And it is said that you need to get the ivy fresh. So it's not something you can kind of store. But I've got so much in the back garden, it would be a waste not to put some of it to use. They say put the ivy leaves into a little cheesecloth. I just have these from years ago. They have a little zip on them. So they're really handy for putting the leaves in. And I used about a cupful. And I found out online that you do need to tear the leaves. That seems to release the saponins. So you do need to tear it with your hands and then pop it into the bag. So it's about one cup packed full. And in it goes. There's nothing like doing a little bit of experimenting. I was genuinely curious to see whether this would work. Now it says it has a foaming ability, but there was no sign of foaming when I did it in the wash machine. And then they also say to put a little bit of vinegar. I used about two tablespoons and it just makes sure that the clothes are nice and soft. But there is no smell of the vinegar afterwards. Now for me, everything is in the smell. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. I think I was expecting it not to work, but actually the smell, I can only relate it to that it smells clean and fresh. And if you just use water on your clothes, which I have before done because I forgot to put some detergent in and they do not smell well. So as a first go and as an experiment, I would give this about a seven out of 10. Obviously you need to have ivy growing nearby. You need to be able to get it fresh each time you do a wash load. It doesn't give any detergent type smell, which some people really like, but the clothes were fresh and they were clean. I also did it on a very quick wash, which I think is much better so about a 30 degree wash. So yeah, I think that was definitely a success. 
So thanks very much for watching this video. Let me know if you've tried using the Common Ivy to wash your clothes before and chat as always down in the comments or over on Instagram. Have a wonderful week, keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video.